What is going on, guys? From another video here in Jordan with the squad. We got Harry. Let's go. We got Sophia. Let's go, everybody. And we're heading down to Aqaba, Yala, Bina. Let's do this. We got about an hour drive down, and we're gonna be exploring this resort town that's very close to a couple other countries. So we'll be close to international waters, and we have a lot to show you because it is a very well-known place here in Jordan that has so much to offer. So we'll see you guys once we get down. Assalamu alaikum khaye. Good morning. Good morning. Sabaho, kifa. Sabaho, hasel. Mashal hal, inta? Where are you from? Uh, Chicago, uh, United States, and United Kingdom. Welcome to Jordan. Shukran khaye. Shukran, shukran, Bibi. Welcome, hello, Habibi. Good morning. Yeah, Thank perfect. you. Shukran. Shufak. Shufak. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we just went through a quick little checkpoint. So that must be because we're going to the uh, border towns. They probably want to stop, and maybe that's a state crossing, do you know? Probably. I yeah, mean, yeah. maybe like different territories or something, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Comment below if you know, but usually they only, like, in countries that I've been, they only have checkpoints like that. If you're going somewhere that's maybe a bit more like, they need to check to make sure there's not any risks when you're that close to the borders. And sometimes, of course, when you cross state lines, we saw that um, in other states when we were closer to other states or territories, I'm not sure what they call them here, when we were closer to the Dead Sea. But it's a really, really beautiful drive here. Since we're so close to Egypt, it reminds me of when I was driving down to Dahab, which once we get down to Aqaba, we're only like, I don't know, maybe a 20 or 30 minute boat ride away. Because it's very similar mountainous landscapes that are just unbelievable to look at. I'm trying to show you guys them in the GoPro, but unfortunately, like with the wide angle, it's just really hard to capture it. So hopefully this will give you a uh, good idea that you need to come down here and see how beautiful this place is for yourself. All right, guys, we have just made it to Aqaba. I was surprised actually, because I didn't know anything about Aqaba, to be honest with you. And I didn't realize how big of a city it is. It's like they have an airport you can fly in and out of. And it's like, I think it's probably the only other large city that I've been to so far. We've been to in uh, Jordan. So it's uh, pretty awesome to be here. We're going to have a lot to show you guys, a lot to do in this amazing beach town. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get checked in here and uh, start exploring this place. Well, we've got a few minutes to burn before we're meeting for the check-in. So uh, basically, we're going to stop at McDonald's. Sometimes it's fun to actually see like what McDonald's is like in other countries see what's like on the menu what's popular here because it changes like throughout the all the mcdonald's is both the one thing i can tell you is like the taste is like usually quite consistent around the world everywhere that i've been so it'll be fun to check out a jordanian mcdonald's as our first meal here don't worry we'll have some traditional food too in mcdonald's that must be how you say mcdonald's in uh arabic we got play places here too all right so we got the mcdonald's menu here what's the good stuff to oh they still have breakfast you have to wear a mask oh that's that's gonna be good let's say you gotta wear a mask inside the mcdonald's here so let's see, what do we got for good food here? Oh, it's about the same price here. $4.50 for a uh, meal, yeah? That looks pretty good. Oh, I'm filming me. It's more, it's, it's towards me. Yeah, don't worry, yeah. All right, we're gonna get some food right over here. The, uh, we got the menu here. I think I'm gonna go for a little breakfast sandwich. That'll have to do. Sausage McDankfin. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, medium. Add to order. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward process. I'm starting to see more and more McDonald's around the world are doing the, uh, the touchpad. Oh, guys, they even have Oreo crushed cookie donuts. I think that's a must. I gotta try this out. That looks so freaking good for one JOD. All right, so for this McDonald's meal, came out to, yeah, with a chicken sausage muffin, coffee with milk, and a cookie crush donut. It came out to 390. So 390 is about, let me guess, 550? Wow, I am getting good. 550 on the dot, on the dot. Dollars. Yeah, yeah, I guess 550, and it's 550 Whoa. on the dot. Yeah, right. I'm getting better at these conversions, so. Yeah, you know, pretty good price. I'd say that's like similar to what you pay around the world or like for most places that I've been for a meal like that. And it's going to be good. I'm especially excited to try out that cookie donut. All right, and here is the uh, McDonald's meal here in Jordan. First, hash browns are usually what you'll find the most consistent around the world. Same as like fries. 
identical, identical to one I've had in the United States. Mm. <laughs> Must say, it's a guilty pleasure. Let's try out the uh, the sausage, chicken sausage though. Uh, you can't get like the sausage you'd find maybe in the United States or some other countries that sell that type. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Funny enough, it tastes identical. It doesn't taste like it's chicken sausage. It tastes like the sausage, normal sausage I've had back in the U.S. Oh, that's good. It's always nice to have a little comfort food here and there. How are those uh, chicken nuggets? Oh, amazing. It's my go-to meal. Don't think I've actually had anything else other than chicken nuggets at McDonald's, but you can't go with it. And they're like identical to yeah, the British ones? Yeah, completely the same. Everywhere I've ever been to mm -hmm. McDonald's. And she's a... Uh, Pretty good. Chicken sandwich. From Egypt McDonald's to Jordan McDonald's. Let's see how it rates. Ooh, I mean, I've already tried it, but I think the one in Egypt is a bit better. Oh. A little better. Oh. But Jordanians, I'm but not I saying do, I agree I with that. But I do, I still really, really like it. Still really good. And, oh yeah, chicken sandwich. Living the dream. Tastes like the US? Oh yeah. Consistency is all there. Successful trip to McDonald's, I'll say. Guys, literally the most exciting part, somehow I like forgot about it. And Harry's the man, he reminded me. They forgot to bring my amazing Oreo donut here. And Oreo's like my favorite sweet, so let's give this thing a shot. I feel like I'm gonna want another one. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's chewy and on the inside there's even some like filling, some sort of like Oreo cream. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the gym after this one. McDonald's connoisseur over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With the Oreo donuts. Mm-mm, mm. mm. Okay. That is nice. Mm. Hey, Kifa Khaye, Meshalhal? Yes. Perfect. Do you speak Arabic? Hey, shway, shway, Arabic, Khaye. Shway, shway, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Arabic, Lebanani. Hey, hey, Lebanani, hey, voila. We went through the uh, check-in process. I uh, didn't show you the security for security reasons. And uh, now we're entering into our place right here. Wow. Looks like an incredible spot. Salam alaikum. Kifak Bader. Yeah, hala, welcome to you. Shukran. All right, quick entrance with our man Bader, and uh, now we're cruising over. Nice drive in. All right, we're getting a quick little tour here now that we just parked the car. Oh yeah, we're right on the water here. This is a nice place. Welcome Very you. nice. Shukran Khaye. We can see our place. It's right up here. We're going to go tour it in a second. And out here, we've got a freshly raked beach. This is very fancy. And oh, sweet. It looks like there's like even a water park boat out there. We got to go out there for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks fun. We got boat rentals here, a place to swim. I think we're gonna have a pretty nice old time here. So basically the place that we're at, uh, we paid $400 for two nights, split three ways, so 200 bucks a night. It's like 70 bucks per person per night, but you know, resort, all the amenities, gym, right on the beach. You know, you get what you pay for, so we wanna show you guys the luxurious side here of Aqaba with our brother. What was your name again? Hussein. 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 Yes, it's yeah. a pleasure, it's a Welcome. pleasure. Thank you very much, I the really appreciate the problem it. problem at your car. Oh. Now maybe 10 minutes, this tire's down. Oh, sh popped it? Did we pop it? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, good thing we have Hussein to let us know. How do we get this fixed around here? A good example of amazing Jordanian hospitality. We have our man Hussein here who noticed somehow that we had a flat tire when he was checking us into our new place. And he came with me in the car to uh, come get it repaired here. So really appreciate that. Shukran Habibi. Welcome. All right. We have arrived. Oh, we're on this floor. Perfect. That makes it easy. Oh, wow. Whew. We are living. All right, guys. So we just arrived to the place and it is massive, like a full on apartment. Well, it's a condo. So we've got one bedroom here. Oh, we got a bunk bed, a second bed over here. Another big bed. You even have a crib. If someone had a baby, we would have a spot to go. Private bathroom over here. Oh, yeah, that is nice. That is nice. Yeah, yeah. Four beds and a crib. In case anyone has a kid. And uh, another bathroom here. Oh yeah, sweet. Look at those lights. Hello, hello, how we doing? And uh, some shampoos in there. Sparkling clean, just how we like it. And we have, oh, 
One more little one right here. That is a tiny little spot there. And then we have the kitchen, refrigerator, washing machine. That is amazing news because I haven't washed my clothes in like 10 days. Still been wearing some clean ones, but uh, it's about time to switch out those boxers, I'll be honest with you. Out here, we've got Harry already putting on some tunes, putting on some sports, big football guy over here. And uh, then we have a beautiful set to kind of just hang out here. We have the level of the sea basically, or the first level, so we can easily walk out to the beach or we can go over here and sit on the balcony and enjoy nice views and comfortable uh, environment to go ahead and look out at. We've got restaurants up there that are open during the evening, a restaurant down there open during the day and morning, and we even have a swimming pool. So we've got a lot of amenities to explore and share with you guys. I cannot wait. Thank you, Hussan. Welcome, sir. Habibi. And after cleaning up a bit, it's time to explore the hotel's amenities. It's very well designed. As you can see, we've got our Jordanian feel mixed with the latest modern relaxation style. <laughs> What do you so think, relaxed. Harry? I'm just chilled right now. So we've got a nice pool right down there. You best believe we're going to be uh, jumping in and swimming. First, we're going to see if we can locate the gym because we got to see all the amenities here while we're exploring. All right, so we figured out the way to get to the gym is we're actually taking the elevator up because there's a bridge that brings us from where the uh, seaside building and pool and uh, everything over here on this side leads us to the main resort because we're actually staying in a condominium like i said it's on an airbnb we can actually book this hotel like a normal hotel and that is where the gym is we think at least so we hope. i'm guessing let's try one all right so this first floor oh all right health club reception that's definitely oh a good thing Oh, guys, if only you could smell what we're smelling. It's like a resort style perfume as you walk through the halls. <sighs> well, we took the wrong turn. We're retracing our steps. That's the uh, good and uh, interesting part about this place. It's so big, you can easily get lost. There but there oh, are. There it is. How did we yeah, miss oh, it? Oh, we found it? Here it is. Here it is. The Health Club reception. Here we go. Oh, and here we go. Salam alaikum. All right, so this is the gym. As expected, usually on vacation, you don't have as many people that are working out, but uh, maybe we got to try pumping some iron here. Let's, let's, see, let's see if we can put up some weight in here. What do we got down there? There's like this little bridge restaurant area, and then over there is like a board of all the activities that are offered, oh. like outdoor activities, probably water sports and all of that. Oh, we got to check that out for sure. We definitely got to check that out. Hey, are you ready to pump some iron? I am, with my shitty little... Henna? Henna. Do these weights? Oh yeah! I'm gonna be shredded after yeah. this. And by the way, you should never work out in flip-flops. Don't do what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Push oh. it. One more. Oh, okay. yeah. Keep going. Another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the blood's pumping to the face. Let's get it. Shoulders. Those oh. biceps don't grow themselves. Ah, oh, exactly. <laughs> Oh, we got Harry absolutely shredding the gym. Let's go, baby. Yeah, you America. Can't, you can't get guns like that at the store. You gotta work for them. I need a license for these bad boys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> another one, another one, another one. Ten more. Oh, Let's it's go. Getting, it's Ten. getting yoked. <laughs> you guys should be my personal trainer. <laughs> yeah, you'll be shredded, bro. Yeah, look at that. Just full sand in the mirror. All right, we got a good little pump in. Thank you very much. Bye. Now we're going to go explore more of the resorts. Probably get something to drink. I'm a little out of breath from that workout though. But it was good. Much, much needed. It's been too long since I've hit the gym. Embarrassed to say. They've definitely got the designs here on point. We've even got a uh, waterfall right here. So here are the outdoor activities Sophia was telling us about. And it looks like, what are we at today? Is Monday? Monday. So later today we've got uh, Russian dancing. No, that's that's earlier. We only have Smurfs night at the restaurant, kids pub. Tuesday, a flag quiz painting aqua gym. All right, so you got some good options okay. if you're into that type of stuff. We're probably gonna go to the bar though. So yeah. sounds like a pretty good activity. Yeah, we are. The nice part is the bar doesn't need to be on the board in order to uh, consider that the activity. Uh, 18 ounce beers here. Sorry. Do you have 18 ounce beers? No. Big ones. We have uh, Corona, Mistel, and Heine. Oh. Oh, and cans? Yeah, we have can and um, draft only a Mistel. Let's send it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Can <laughs> we have two two in the can unopened? 
and then uh, I'll take another draft of the other what kind. Heineken 8.5 and Corona, the one bottle is 8.5 also. Oh, we got the, the secret stash down here. The uh, MSCL 7 GD. All right. Vibes are on point. It's a little quiet here, but it makes it a bit more peaceful. We've got probably about an hour and a half left of sunset, so it's a perfect time that we got a couple uh, ice cold, nice colds as we call them, cold beers. And so I think we might need to slurp one of these down kind of quick. We'll do uh, just a small cheers first. We're basically pre-game and waiting for Harry because he wanted to yeah. get a uh, longer workout in, so we figured we might as well lap him. All right, Harry has rejoined the party. He heard us drinking beers, and so of course he said, uh, cheers. "Cheers, mate." Should I go get cheers, another round? Mate. Shoot! Oh, she's already up. <laughs> Should I go get another round? <laughs> oh yeah, I could pour a little in. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> Ooh. We've become our own worst. Oh, that's a pretty good. That's oh, pretty good. Oh, you jinxed it. You jinxed it. <laughs> We've become our own worst enemies. Exactly. Going. All right, guys. Let's see. Uh, let's see how warm the water is out here. It is the perfect time to be out looking at this beautiful coastline. You got boats all in the distance, and you have the hazy mountains. It's one of my favorite looks in nature. Is when you can see like the mountains. I mean, those are so far away from here. But since it's like so clear, you can still see that far away. Now the real test, oh geez, that is actually very cold. Honestly, I could probably only go in unless I like had the energy to run in right now, midday, just cause it's a little chilly. But definitely getting out on a boat, that looks like the move. They're blasting some music, having a good time. But there's a lot to see here. It is fun sometimes though, just to go hang at a resort, get some chill time and uh, taking the vibes you know we've been uh, traveling all over Jordan the last 10 days or so so to have more of a low-key vacation holiday style feel is pretty nice I must say all right guys and that's where we will finish up this video exploring the hotel it was a quicker video but I wanted to show you the accommodation we're gonna have here in Aqaba for two nights maybe three we might turn it into three at this point because there is so much to do here. Plus, we wanted some time to just chill and hang out. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. No, actually, annihilate that like button. <laughs> just you destroy like it. Like <laughs> <laughs> now, as always, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos both here in Jordan and all around the world, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And we'll see you guys in the next one.